School Reviews A channel for adult collector sand may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Squall with Squall Reviews, coming back with you with the news for June 29th, 2022. So let's get stuff kicked off with this first news article. So we got some crossover news. We're getting reissues of the Street Fighter Transformers, as well as a new crossover, Tonkinator, which is a Tonka Trucks combined with G1 Devastator. What's interesting is not only is Devastator yellow and black this time around, but he's also an Autobot? So this reminds me of an episode back in G1 called The Core. It had the Autobots reprogram the Constructicons to help them defeat the Decepticons from drilling to the center of the Earth. This almost feels like a what if, what if Devastator stayed with the Autobots. Now he has a black and yellow color scheme and sports the Autobot symbols. I'm probably going to pick this up just for that episode, just for that tie-in to be a what if scenario on my shelf. And the Street Fighter figures look pretty much unchanged from their original release. You're still getting Hot Rod as Ken. And you're getting RC as Chun-Li. Then you're getting another 2-pack of M. Bison with the Megatron mold. And Ryu as Optimus Prime. Pretty neat. So these are available at Target right now. You could pre-order them. I don't think there is an actual release date yet, but the pre-orders are live. All right, so a couple days ago, we got package images of the new Transformers Legacy Buzzworthy Bumblebee Creatures Collide 4-Pack, which has Autobot Goldbug, Ransack, Skywasp, and Predacon Scorponok, the Beast Wars toy version of Scorponok. And this was pretty cool, but now we also have in-hand images of those figures. So just clicking on the images, we have Goldbug looking rather gold. He's the Volkswagen. He has the Goldbug head that was on the Shattered Glass gold bug and there's a side by side with bumblebee from the netflix looking good you got ransack which is a reuse of the kickback mold looking pretty good we got predacon scorponok which is the beast wars toy version of Scorponok and he comes with both heads and you just pull one off pop the other one on as you can see right here in the instructions Sky Wasp which was a Bakung recolor of Waspinator back with the Thrilling 30 toy now we have it with the Kingdom Waspinator and he also has the head feature, which is from Buzzsaw. Looking pretty good. This is going to be a nice set to get. I'm definitely going to be hunting for it. Hope you guys like it as well. Alright, we have a possible first look at Transformers Legacy Minerva. This is going to be using the Legacy Alita 1 mold. And it's rumored to be a Walgreens exclusive here in the States. And there you go. We're getting Minerva from the Japanese series Master Force. And it looks pretty good. I personally think they nailed the head sculpt. 
the side ear cannons, the orange face, the colors are just right. Yeah, can't wait to get this in hand. All right, on to the next article. All right, so we got new images of a Beast Wars themed Monopoly game coming out. So as you can see, not only are all the pieces Beast Wars characters, as well as Energon cubes and some other goodies, but the whole Monopoly board is themed around Beast Wars. This looks pretty fun. If you grew up loving Beast Wars, or even if you currently love Beast Wars, now you can have a Monopoly game to play along. Neat. Alright, now for the big news article. Transformers June livestream, we got revealed the entire Velocitron set. This is going to be a Walmart exclusive. We also got some Shattered Glass revealed, and some more Red Figures revealed. So let's take a look at these. All right, first on the table we have Lur done up as his IDW version, based on the Studio Series 86 blur. Looking pretty neat. The box art looks amazing with being in vehicle mode this time and has that back flap kind of like the old G1 figures did. And here's a quick look at his vehicle mode. We also have Burnout done up from the Skids mold, black and red diaclone colors with a faceplate. And there he is in vehicle mode. Next we have Road Rocket done up from the Legacy Prime RC figure and features a new head with a faceplate. Looking pretty good. Now we're looking at Clampdown, done up from the Kingdom Red Alert. I almost said Sideswipe. And it's based off of a Diaclone color scheme. And there he is in package. Next we have Cosmos. This one looks great. He's nice and thick, looks just like G1. He has the flag that attaches to his gun and turns into his UFO mode. That looks neat. All right, and Road Hauler coming out. He's using the grapple mold. Done up in Constructicon colors and has a new face. And of note, they did actually taper the little pegs that are on the back of the head. Let's see. Right there, you can see right there. They taper those pegs, that way they don't break off as easily. I know a lot of grapples were starting to break on people because. The way that pegged in, in vehicle mode, the, it just would get stuck. And then when you try to pull it out, it would break. So it's good thing that they're starting to look at that stuff and fix it as they see problems. All right, the interesting reveal, we have Cybertron Override. And she has her vehicle mode here. Looking pretty neat. All right, and the big leader class figure, Scourge from the Robots in Disguise line. And this looks very, very nice. Uh, some people were saying that the midsection's miscolored or based off of more the toy or the Japanese version, but I gotta tell you this, as a Nemesis Prime, as a Scourge, just looks amazing. I cannot wait to get this guy in hand. He looks absolutely awesome. Alright, and then we have a look at Shattered Glass Slicer, which is also the same color as Shattered Glass Wheeljack and regular Universe Slicer. 
and it's pretty cool he's coming with a version of fast track that comes it's being called ecstasy and it's going back to the action master slicer that came with a transformable exosuit that he would then wear in robot mode and because it's a weaponizer you could get that same look and there's packaging imaging and that looks cool all right so now a brief update on the non-f junkion variant colors update so they do have those sprues available on their website now they give you a cream color and a light gray color to do the uh, rubbish kit upgrade and there's a look at how those pieces look with the rubbish kit now the kind of unfortunate thing is that you only get the two sprues the two colored sprues the brown and tan and the smaller red and gray you don't get any of the other pieces to complete rubbish or to even complete the head you just get the sides of the head the kneecaps the main head and one of the no that's the eyepiece I thought it was a faceplate so yeah if you want to get this upgrade set be warned, you're going to also still need to get the original Rubbish Upgrade set. Because you won't be able to complete the head without the original Rubbish Upgrade set. I was kind of hoping that this was just going to be a color option. They've done that in the past with various other products they offer. Where they have different colors that you can choose from. Maybe that will be something that will be implemented later, but at, right now, if you want those sprues in a different color, you have to buy them separate. Alright, so staying with Non-F Productions, they also put out a tweet saying that they have a Zartan kit in the works. And they're working with Toy Hacks, which is really good news. They've released quite a few upgrades for Transformers and for the G.I. Joe Classified line. And I like the idea that they're going to be working with another company, Toy Hacks, that also does really great products for Transformers and G.I. Joes. Uh, Skids and Drag Strip are getting a set. Perceptor's getting a set. Laser Prime and Sludge. And all that will start to be released within a few months. All right. And then as it goes on to say that the Skids drag strip set will launch as a single kit. Skids was a canceled item, but I guess they're trying something different and they're adding it to drag strip sprue. So, very interesting news. Make sure to stay tuned. As soon as I find out what's going on with this, I'll let you guys know. Alright, so that has been a highlight of some news articles that have caught my eye. Thank you for watching. Please hit that share, like, comment button, subscribe. All that helps my channel to grow, and it doesn't cost you a thing. I thank you guys. You guys have an awesome week. We'll see you in the next one, alright? Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Take care.